Hey there, Miss Wood here. During this video, you will watch me guide you through how the digestive system works. So we'll start by eating a piece of food, as we do every single day to keep our bodies alive, and you'll get to see what happens along the way. Here we go. So there are multiple things that you can eat in the digestive system. There's beans, ice cream, a fish, cake, and an apple. It wants us to eat the beans. Baked beans contain starch, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, and a roughage. Let's eat. Goes in the mouth first. And in your mouth, your teeth smash the baked beans into mush. It's what we call mechanical digestion. It's a physical breakdown. In your mouth, you also have saliva from your salivary glands. And this is um, has an enzyme in it, which helps break down some of your food. You also have mucus that helps break down your food. Once you've done that in your mouth, it travels down your esophagus into your stomach. In your stomach, you have digestive juices, um, and they mix with your food to break it down. Enzymes in your stomach help break down the proteins that you eat. And beans do have proteins in them. You have a muscle in your stomach, well, surrounding your stomach, and at the end of it, which allows the food to ultimately get pushed through. Continuing through. It goes into what we call your duodenum, or duodenum, depending on where you watch video. And that's really just the connection between your stomach and your small intestine. And here, um, enzymes break down starch into sugar. So each starch molecule gets broken down into smaller sugar molecules. You also have what we call bile, which comes from your liver, and that helps break down your fat particles from any food you eat. You also have the ability for enzymes to break that down even more um, as they go through it. We continue on through, and we're going to go through the ileum, a.k.a. the small intestine. These little guys with the smiley faces on them are villi. They are what absorb the nutrients. So every food you eat has some kind of nutrients in it. Some are more nutritious than others. And those little um, like finger-like projections called villi suck up those important um, particles as they travel through the small intestine. Um, they continue to go through there. So then it's going to travel into your large intestine where any of the water gets left behind. I yeah, know, <laughs> now the gross part. So when your stool or waste gets through the small and large intestine, it takes those nutrients out, and it needs to take water out, too. If it takes out too much water, you can become constipated or struggle to um, defecate. If it leaves too much water, then that could lead to diarrhea. Your digestive system is really important in balancing your, um, your gut health and processing the foods we eat. And then goes through your colon, which is your large intestine, travels through, absorbing the water, and then it will get exited from your body through your rectum and anus. This part's gross. <laughs> and then it starts all over again. And it's going to be different. So if you eat um, an apple, it's going to have different um, ingredients I guess, and things that make it up than the beans do. Cake and ice cream have a lot more sugars. Um, and that's going to break down differently in the body.